<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Oh my goodness, I made another junk journal. I just want to thank you so much for hanging in there while I'm purging the studio. I also have Mr. Hudson in my lap. He's all snuggled down, which is so sweet. He must be chilly today. Anyway, this particular journal uh, is made with canvas pages. So it's something that the artist, the receiving artist, Janet, uh, can sew into um, this junk journal, glue into this junk journal, cut away windows in this junk journal, whatever she chooses, uh, which makes it a little bit more fun. I have uh, a couple of drawers empty and I have a couple of storage bins empty. <laughs> so we are moving right along. Um, I'm going to continue to do junk journals in different fashions, uh, different kinds of pages. Uh, some I will include uh, ephemera for the artist to add to the pages. So I get bored just like you get bored. <laughs> so each junk journal will be just a little bit different, um, a little different personality. The next one I'm working on uh, is with old wallpaper. Uh, which is really, really fun. I'm watching squirrels outside. They're playing everywhere. Oh my goodness. And here you are. Right? <laughs> you good boy? Yeah, you good boy. He loves to hide his nose. I also have two cups of coffee <laughs> on the table with me this morning. That's indicative of something I am sure. So thank you so much, all of you, for the support as we purge and sell and give away and slash prices and, and, and. So I'm going to include, at the end of this video, I will include a video that Rob took of his birdhouses, which are amazing. They're on a French uh, fence. We're not taking the birdhouses with us, and we're not taking the French f fence with us. So... Everything must go. All right, enough from me. See you on the table. So here's your project for today. This is a junk journal. I've used elastic as the uh, closure and uh, vegan leather, etc., etc. These are the pages from my first attempt at uh, the little girl with painted hands. Um, this book is made so that the artist can take these pages out. Uh, since they are canvas, you can sew on them, sewing machine, hand stitch, glue, uh, whatever you choose to do. Very, 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 very fun. So the artist can take these pages out, play on these pages, put the pages back in, add to uh, her heart's content. Uh, that would be the elastic here that's holding those pages in place. And the closure is complete. And I'm sending this off either today or tomorrow. So much fun. Thanks for playing. Okay, what I'm doing right now is I have a brown paper bag and I have some of my jelly uh, prints. These are on printer paper. These particular ones are on printer paper. Uh, bits and pieces, actually. I probably cannibalized them for something else. I'm uh, gluing them with Mod Podge onto the brown paper bag for stability. My intention is to uh, use them for the book cover, to uh, emboss them and use them for the book cover. So we shall see. I'm just grabbing, uh, I'm grabbing a jelly print at random and tearing the white edges off. And here's a fun one tearing the white edges off and gluing it onto the brown paper bag. And I'm going to step away <laughs> and let it dry. What a great idea. So I have a book skeleton, another one from Matteo. Thank you. And I'm going to cover the whole inside with underpants. Make it nice and sturdy. Underpants, Mod Podge. Go for it. 
Good morning, good morning. Coffee in hand, very dark o'clock. <laughs> Under, underpants are dry on the inside of the book. Set that someplace so I'll lose it. This is the brown paper bag with the jelly prints on it. I'm going to rip it into smaller pieces and send these through the cuddle bug, which is my embosser. First, rip it into smaller pieces so it fits in the folders that I have. All right, I went through my folders, picked out a few. I like these with the letters and the pictures on them. They're all fun. Now I have a cuddle bug embosser. They don't make them anymore, but I'm sure that there are others out there, big ones, little ones. And I'm gonna run this through my cuddle bug. Of course I have this much space on my table to play on. You know that. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. Here's my cuddle bug. Okay, I don't know if you can see that that's embossed or not. <clears throat> but if I bring in like the black stays on. There, you can see the embossing. Beautiful. And I'm gonna do that different envelope or different folders to all of the background pieces. All right, I have everything embossed. Beautiful. And I am going to start gluing them onto the book cover. I do like mine straight. I wish I liked them wonky, but you know what? I just don't. <laughs> so I am going to bring in my Mod Podge and start gluing those onto the front and back cover. Not overthinking it, randomly gluing them down. I don't want the same patterns next to each other, so I will be careful about that. If I put the Mod Podge on the brown paper bag and let it soak in for a moment, then the brown paper bag is more pliable, more friendly for bending around bits and pieces of the book. I will be overlapping, creating texture that way as well. And continue to glue bits and pieces of this is and that to your book. Okay, I have the front covered. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> and I'm going to roll it over onto the back and cover the back. Yes. And we're going to let that dry. Well, it's sort of dry. <laughs> I'm going to bring in my black stays on and pick up the embossing. Bring that to life. front end, 
on the back. And I will go to the inside, pick up some of the texture from the underpants. So it is a bit sticky from the stays on and maybe some of the Mod Podge that's not quite dry. So I'm bringing in the foil and adding a sparkle here and a sparkle there, very uncontrolled because I don't know where it's sticky and where it's not. Well, it's clearly sticky there. <laughs> done. Very, very fun. little glitter. I don't know if you can see the bits and pieces of the gold on there. Yum, yum, yummy. These are uh, pieces of canvas. The original storybook of the little girl with painted hands I did on canvas. Um, I hand cut, of course, and created collages on the pages. Oh, we can glue you down. And uh, I did not use the first edition, if you will, <laughs> uh, because of it being on canvas and it was a bit busy. So what I've done is torn the pages in half. Now they fit. So one piece of the uh, one side of the canvas is bare, and then the next page has the um, the original storybook on it. This is open for uh, interpretation by the artist that is going to receive the book. Uh, things can be sewn on here, glued on here, painted on here. Uh, very, very yummy and delicious book. Lots and lots and lots of energy. And I want to put these pages in this book. About the right size. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make it so that the artist can add, can take these pages out and sew on them. So I'm going to use some elastic. I uh, happen to have some elastic and a fun button here. So we'll start off with two lengths of the elastic. Don't want it too loose, don't want it too tight. So life is an experiment. I'm gonna run the elastic with these dirty, dirty hands through the shank of that button. So if we were to tie it there, how would that be? That'd be pretty good. Let's just, we're gonna go for it. All right, I tied a knot here, made a tail, snipped it so it's not too long. We're going to go to the center signature. That's so I put the tail on the inside, button on the outside. The artist can actually add beads, things like that. There, if she so chooses, these pages are ready to sew on, embellish, add to, whatever she chooses to do. This was so much fun to do. So Janet, here you go. Thanks for the nudge. Your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun. Hey everybody, Handsome Hubby here, also known as Rob Jenkins. And going along with the theme of getting rid of all of our artwork, I want to do a little video of my birdhouses. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through these guys, give you a little detail work of them. So all of these are custom made assemblage slash collage pieces. And these all come from my collection of bird skulls. 
I've always thought bird skulls were fantastic, beautiful, and so there is a mallard duck. And the first one you saw was a pygmy owl. This guy is a pheasant. And so these are all ethically sourced. Many of them I found myself on walks. I just wanted to show you a little detail. I've got old money and maps and cool paper ephemera from travels. And moving on, they're all similar size, maybe about 12 inches tall, maybe seven or eight inches wide at the peak of the house. Some of them have a little uh, string work or other nail stuff on them. This is a barn owl. This is a crossed barn owl. And here is another one. So a lot of the paper stuff is from Laura Marie and I's travels. They all have an old bullet casing in them, just as sort of a design element but some great old book pages, repurposed wood. This is a crested flycatcher. It's a very small, delicate skull. And these are all selling for $250 each, plus shipping. Uh, my website, robjenkinsart.com, they're $275, but this is a special deal for Laurie Marie's channel. The Moving to Costa Rica sale. So this here is a turkey vulture. This is the only one that's not a real skull. So this is a replica of a turkey vulture. It's a casting. But again, similar size, similar shape. And then, sorry if I'm moving too fast, this is a goose. This is one of the larger ones here. And I do have one more crow skull birdhouse I'm going to do. And so I'll post that when possible. If you want to see more images of these, check out my website, robjenkinsart.com. And hope you guys enjoyed the little preview here. All right. Thanks so much.